All right, so I'm back to making content, and I thought my next video back should be something relatively short, probably. Um, but it's just like a first impression of something that I saw trending, which is that apparently Team Trump has come out with a social media platform. They're calling it Gitter.com. Yeah, it's automatically probably not very good. <laughs> because um, it's run by Republicans, which means its content is going to be restricted to conservative ideas. Now, that's my first impression. It was also my first impression of Gab and Parler, and it's my impression of this, because it's what always happens with these sites. Gab uh, has strict obscenity-slash-pornography rules and has kicked off a lot of people for uh, posting anything like that. They've also kicked people off for various political opinions. Um, Parler has done the same, and has recently... Uh, when they came back up, uh, changed their policies to allow for it, but now you've got to mark your content Nisifu. So basically, um, <laughs> Parler, uh, Gab, these platforms are already and typically trash. Um, and and for for any of you who want to know, I already fucking linked. Uh, well, I already made a video that I'll link uh, of me going over the many flaws of Parler. Parler is a honeypot, and it's a shitty WordPress install and a variety of other things that make it really fucking bad. Uh, feel free to watch that video. The link will be here-ish. But the general vibe that you should get from this... This, this, this shit-ass website is the same. Because that was my first impression. And then I read the fucking terms of service. And let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Those terms of service are worse than Parler's new terms of service. Um, I don't know what it takes to get verified. I didn't look that deep into the TOS. And, um... And I, you know, like, the, the fucking uh, registration's closed. Like, I tried to start an account so that I could uh, verify some of this. I'll do that and report back, I guess. But um, I, I started an, I tried to start an account, and, and, and I got, like, all the steps complete. Uh, found out that the passwords can't be overly complex in terms of, like, the characters they use. But at least you can make it 128 fucking characters long, so there's that. But, like, beyond the the sign-up process not working, you can still see the terms uh, and, and conditions. Uh, and generally, yeah, not good. First, let's start by the fact that the site is protected by reCAPTCHA, which means that you technically have to contract with Google in order to sign up and use it. So that's fun. Uh, nothing says uh, anti-big tech censorship like <laughs> having to contract w with, with, with one of the single biggest, if not the single biggest big tech biggie. Um, but, you know, uh, that, that's, that's, I guess, neither here nor there. Because uh, this sort of thing is, like, used in a variety of places. And the truth is... If you're the kind of person to sign up for the site, you probably already have uh, contracted with Google. But then, you get into the meat and potatoes of it. Now, for those of you who've been following me for a while and who watched my parlor video, you already know what I'm about to say. But centralization is bad, okay? Um, I, it's, it really boils down to that. When you have a centralized group of people who can control any content on their service, that will lead to censorship and bans. And this service is no different. 
the the better alternatives are decentralized websites um, and since I'm making this a new video about a new social media platform I guess I'll go over briefly after I read the terms of service why decentralization is good and what decentralization you can use right now in terms of your social media presence um, but essentially um, yeah the uh, <laughs> the site's got some bad terms of service. Let me tell you what. So, I'm going to read them to you. Uh, the, the parts that I fucking died laughing at. Um, because, <laughs> holy shit. So, um, let, let's get into the general things that are problems in, in, in my, uh, in my estimation. So, <laughs> link to the service f okay so wh 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 where are we here your rights to access and use the service and content your right to access and use the service and content is subject to your strict compliance with these terms and the applicable additional terms your right to access and use the service and the content shall automatically terminate upon any violations of these terms, which means that they'll essentially ban you if you break one rule, if, if they feel like it. <laughs> unlike Twitter, who has a three strike policy, unlike Facebook, who like will let you keep on stringing along for a long time if you do what they want. Um, these people have a zero tolerance policy. So ain't that fucking grand. Um, so. <laughs> you may, for your personal non-commercial. You can't use this for your business. Let, let me just repeat that. You can use Twitter for your business. You can use Gab for your business. You cannot use fucking Getter for your business. You can use Parler for your business. Non-commercial. What? How is that going to get any fucking user engagement? Or are you just going to ignore it when it's one of the commercial interests you like? What? What the fuck? Why? Why is that there? So... You're basically saying, yeah, you can come here for your personal use, but you can't use it for commercial use. Then it goes lawful use only. You can't break laws. That means if you're trying to use this platform to protest something, um... And, and and you break one of the laws to do it, uh, you can't use the platform anymore. They will revoke it. So let's say, uh, just to appease the conservatives who are already, like, fucking burning their britches over me, like, um, let's say you're a Muslim in a Muslim-majority country, and you want to engage in civil disobedience by publicly posting on social media your love for your gay lover. Um, you can't do that. You can't, like, be outside of a hijab, niqab, that sort of thing, um, as a woman on this platform, because that's unlawful. Like, there are so many laws that exist. You can't use this if you're in communist, which, by the way, it's not communism, it's state capitalism, but communist China... You can't use this as a protest platform. You can't say things that are illegal to say. Lawful use only. So, um, just to, to get that part out of the way, I thought that was fucking hilarious because, like, the whole point of platforms like this is theoretically supposed to be civil disobedience. You can have your opinion. Well, oh well. Um, just to be explicit... Uh, there's more. Download, install, 
any software using oh sorry that's that's the wrong thing if the service includes a download link next to a piece of content including without limitation an image icon wallpaper music track video trailer or rss feed you may only download a copy of such content for your personal use personal use that means that everything on this site is protected by a de facto copyright. Everything. That means that you can't, for instance, adapt anything you see on this site. So if something's posted on this site and you download it, and you adapt it and sell your adaptation, they could potentially sue you and they could certainly kick you off. Yikes! Um, that basically eliminates artistic expression. It eliminates, like... <laughs> it eliminates fucking, like, uh, presentations for business purposes. All business purposes entirely. Just personal use, guys. That's all you can. Um... So if you do want to uh, download something for uh, the like business that you run, if you do like if you're a musician or an artist or something and you want to make a piece out of something, don't get a getter account because what that means is that you're contracting to do something that you might otherwise be able to do. Because guess what? It's still like, free speech. It's still fucking, like, uh, I forget what it's called, fair use, if you don't sign the contract. Um, so if you, if you want this, make sure to not, uh, and, and I repeat this again, not sign up for Getter. Uh, so if you want to, for instance, mock a bunch of Trumpers, a, mu a, a bunch of Trumpets, if you want to do that, then make sure that you just observe from the outside, pull the information, and walk away. Um, that's your only option there. Uh, <laughs> which might probably be why they chose that. <clears throat> um, and then, let me get into the, uh, the, the real meat of this. C. The links and the content on your website. So this is link, link to the service from a website or other online service so long as the links only incorporate text and do not use any getter, names, logos, or images. The links and the content on your website do not suggest any affiliation with getter or cause any other confusion, and the links and the content on your website do not portray Getter or its products or services in a false, misleading, okay, fine, derogatory, or otherwise offensive manner. If you sign up for this website, they have within it that you cannot use any site to talk shit about Getter. The organization. You cannot be offensive about Getter. Let that sink the fuck in. Once you sign up for this site... You are waiving your rights to use Getter imagery to publicize anything negative about Getter ever from your website. And I'm assuming by your website they mean any website you control. Because that's why it says link to the service from a website or other online service. So that means... If you have a Getter account and you don't like that Getter did something, you can't be offensive or derogatory about Getter 
anywhere else. This is how conservatives do free speech. And it gets worse. So, just to let this sink in, after you can't talk any shit at all about Getter, you cannot contain content that is unlawful, offensive, obscene, lewd, lascivious, filthy, violent, threatening, harassing, or abusive, or that violate any right of any third party, or are otherwise objectionable to Getter. Getter reserves the right to suspend or prohibit linking to the service for any reason in its sole discretion without advance notice or any liability of any kind to you or any third party. Let me just repeat that. You cannot portray Getter or its products or services in a false, misleading, derogatory, or otherwise offensive manner, and you cannot contain content that is unlawful, offensive, obscene, lewd, lascivious, filthy, violent, threatening, harassing, or abusive, or that violate any right of any third party or are otherwise objectionable to Getter. Free speech. Getter has worse rules than Parler did. Getter is another app conservatives are using to lure conservatives into giving them a bunch of information. Didn't you learn the fucking first time? I don't even care. You know what? If you want to be an authoritarian rightist and keep on sucking the cock of anyone who gives you their fucking schlong, eh, be my guest. Please do. It's going to be funny to watch the FBI around yet more of you up and do our job for us in terms of getting rid of the authoritarian right. It's going to be funny because... After all this time of telling you as anarchists, the state is bad. The state's bad for you too. The state's bad for everyone. The state's very bad. Did I tell you yet that the state is bad? Because the state is bad. Stop supporting the state. After all this time of reminding you that institutions don't like to be threatened and they might infiltrate you after all this time if you're still willing to hop on pop then by all means write it <laughs> it's fucking hilarious it's fucking hilarious that people are still willing to blindly sign up in such high volume that registration is now closed there were thousands of comments on the intro post. The one that they show you in the beginning. There are thousands of comments already. And a lot of them are just asking for features. Saying, hey, this place is great. We, we signed up so easily. We got here so fast. Everything's good. But none of them apparently have read the terms and conditions. Because if they had, they'd know... They'd been bamboozled. The conservatives have bamboozled the conservatives again. And I am laughing my ass off. My poor housemates have been listening to me cackle in this room for the past, like, 15 minutes before starting this video. But, like, I can't. It's uncontrollable at this point. I can't stop laughing. Because the solutions are here. We have the solutions to free speech, and they help both the left and the right. But the right would rather hide in these places. 
Why? The blockchain exists. You want real free speech? Pocketnet is better than ever. They have a video program now, where if you get a certain amount of views and a certain amount of positive ratings at five stars, they will give you a thousand dollars. Link is in the description. Uh, you can go to jeremiahharding.com slash pocketnet, one word, if you want uh, access to my invite link there. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't keep looking at all these people seriously. They're fucking stupid. That's it. That's it. If you sign up for a service that has all this stuff that basically says you can't be mean to us, then you're stupid. You're just stupid. Or you're just stupid enough that they can manipulate you into shutting off your intelligence for just long enough to not read or care about the terms of service enough to know that this is what they're saying. Like, holy shit! This is bad, guys! Why are you here? Why is this what you support? Can we talk about that? And yeah, it's already on iOS and Android, which obviously means that it's fucking bought. If the other apps are blocked, and this one is not, ask yourself why that is. Or, ask yourself, how long is it going to take for people to do enough on this app that this is blocked from those stores too? Or, how much are they going to censor because it's centralized garbage and not the fucking blockchain? Or the Fediverse? Or all these other things that already existed that you could already go on that aren't managed by Team fucking Trump? How many things are they going to censor in order to avoid getting shut down. I'll give you a hint. A fuck ton. Hmm? Like a lot. A lot of people are going to get suspended for being too mean on that platform. A lot of people are going to get suspended for having beef outside the platform about the platform. It's like... It's, 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 it's like fascism. You can't talk shit about the party. The party's interests represent the party. All activities done with the party have to serve the party. And any action taken outside party activity can't go against party interests. Or you will be ejected from the party. Now, at least this won't result in something like the, 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 the Night of the Long Knives, the Rome Purge. At least all you're doing is getting banned from a social media site and not purged. Not murdered, right? But the fact that it, like, rhetorically mirrors that kind of shit, not even Twitter has terms of service this fucking shitty. Twitter is a freer speech place. Then get her. So the only reason that this would even look like a freer speech place is if they picked and chose who they let stay, who violates their policies. Thus proving that it's a conservative haven and not a free speech haven. Just like all the others. So feel free. Wander. Wander my hapless fucking sheep into the slaughterhouse again. Because you're so stupid, you can't look at the terms of service. You can't fathom that maybe there are already alternatives. Because you see a Twitter trend and you see that it's from Trumpy Trump and you want daddy's site. Huh? Or, think for yourself, let those neurons fire a bit. Realize that the problem is censorship and centralization 
And you shouldn't go to a censorious, centralized site. Go to the blockchain. Be free. Leftists and rightists. And then realize that the state constantly sets these traps for you all the time. And take your life back by refusing to wander into them anymore. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by your friendly, not so friendly to be honest, neighborhood long-haired Sonic fan anarchist. If you like what you saw today, like, share, and subscribe, etc., etc., and feel free to smash the state.